You know that feeling you get when there's a dungeon that you have to do that you really don't feel like doing? Maybe with like the Water Temple in Ocarina of Time or Stone Tower in Jorah's Mask or something like that? Well, the feeling I have right now in my heart is the complete antithesis of that feeling. Oh yeah, I bet you didn't expect that one, right? Because today we're doing the Tower of the Gods, baby. Uh, this is episode 42 of The Wind Waker, by the way, in case you couldn't read the title. And God, I love this dungeon. And to be honest, I wouldn't really love it as much if I didn't, um... Like, if I had played it more recently. Because most of my love for this dungeon spawns from my memories of it as a kid. Why is that pushing me away? There's like a huge hitbox there or something. Yeah, like, because when I was a kid and I first played this game... Well, to, um... I used, I used to play this with my sister all the time, like, who would just take turns and do it. And when I got to this point in the game, in the, to the Tower of the Gods, we have been playing it for such a long time that I could have sworn this was going to be the end of the game, which it obviously isn't. But, uh... <laughs> to me, at the time, I wasn't extremely familiar with Zelda, so I thought it was. But, uh... So, uh, so we got here, and I'm not even kidding, we probably spent at least a good week or two trying to solve the puzzle as dungeon. Oh god. <laughs> and this is the first introduction of, or official, first official introduction of electric chew jellies, I guess. Even though the blue ones are electric too. This is the first time you see the yellow variety. Mm, yeah, the yellow ones, uh, they drop, I think it's random whether they drop either red or green chew jelly. They can't drop blue though, sadly. And yeah, so we spent like a good one or two weeks trying to solve this temple, and <laughs> now that seems really stupid to me because like the puzzle of this temple are really ridiculous. Like you can see, like put a box on a switch, make rainbow bridge appear. Those bridges are totally beautiful, by the way. One of the most, like this is one of the probably the easiest and shortest dungeons of this game, but it's also one of the mo probably the most beautiful in my opinion. And uh, I'd figure that the water pressure might be enough to actually press down a switch, but I, I don't know. Maybe I don't know water physics all that well. Anyways. By the way, if you drop this, this thing right here, it's super important. And uh, if you drop it in the water, it'll just spawn back there where I picked it up, so no worries about that. Mm. Yeah, but there's especially a few rooms later on that I have a lot of memories with, like having tough times trying to solve them or remembering them being really cool or something. And just me and my sister took the longest time to solve this place. It was, it was like a pain in the ass because we got frustrated so much at it, and with and with each other because we always wanted to do like different things from one another to try and solve these puzzles. But just looking back on it now, that was one of the best times of my like gaming life, seriously. Because now I'm looking at this dungeon, and it's really nothing all that special. Actually, I think I should head over here. This is where I normally head first. Is this room over here? But. And the boat is pretty slow, so you might just want to swim some of these distances, but I feel like taking the boat with me just uh, for continuity's sake, I guess. I don't know. Mm, and this whole, like, water raising mechanic, it's not going to persist through the whole dungeon, don't worry. It's just for this, like, first floor for now. I think all that this one has in is, like, a, a dungeon map or something. You gotta use bombs very cleverly here, though. Oh, I wonder if I can get this. Normally, I like just wait till I'm like closer to that thing to get it, but whatever works, I guess. Oh, not you! I don't want to fight you. Oh no! Oh my God! Jeez, yeah, those things can float on the water, so be careful of that. Come on, blow up, blow up, blow up! Oh my God, he got so destroyed, man! I destroyed that box too, but that's okay because that normally happens for me, anyways. Alright, watch it go boom! Mm, do you get yeah, your shield? There you go. <laughs> I don't think that even protects you from the explosion at all, so it doesn't really matter, but... Oh god. Mm. Yeah, and on the surface, this dungeon actually seems like super duper simple, but it's actually kind of like there's more to it than meets the eye sometimes. And you'll see what I mean about that later on. I think even in like the next room that we're going to too. Well, maybe not the next room, but a room very forthcoming, I guess. Mm, 
but here is our... Should be our map, I think. Ooh, I... I'm taking a swig of my water already. Good lord. Mm-hmm. God, look at my rupees. That's just... That's just a number you never see, but it's, like, so cool. Like, 1113. Like, it's fun to say. You could, like, put it to the song of that... Like, the theme of that one Beethoven song. Go, like, 1113. And be, like, stupid like that. Like I tend to be. Well, now it's one 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 five, which still works, but <laughs> like, how often do you see a number that starts with the same three digits, like same three numbers? That's not like seven 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 or six 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 or something. That's not like just just those three numbers. It's like those three numbers and then followed by something else. That's just something so weird about that. Anyways, you only need to blow out one of these walls here, but I like to blow them all out just because it makes it look pretty. Nice little archway. Am I getting pushed away by something? I think I am. Well, there is a huge current next to that giant waterfall, so that might count for something. I don't know. God, it just feels so weird to get pushed sideways like that in the boat. That just never happens. Whatever. I don't even know why I still have that sail equipped. It's not going to do me much good here. I think one of these rooms here, actually, uh... Oh, I think I went to the... <laughs> I think I was supposed to go to that other room I unlocked first, but who cares? We'll see. I don't know, I might need a key or something from there, though. But for now, uh, let's just head here. Oh my. Oh boy, hello. Is this the first bubble we've seen? I don't know, it can't be, man. It just can't be, oh my god. It's kicking my ass, though, that's for sure. And we will be coming back to this room. I don't know if you can really tell from the layout of the room, but there is... Well, I think on the dungeon map it'll actually show it, too. And with this compass now that we can see. God, those skulls are at weird angles. Oh, Yeah, you can see on the map that there's still a treasure chest behind here, but we can't really do much about that. Try to bomb that, or boomerang that, or throw your boat at it. Nothing's gonna work. Nothing but one very specific thing that we can't do yet. Alright, I think I need this to open the next one or something, or to like unlock a chest or some sort of nonsense like that. Damn it, I do need a key here. What a duff munch. Oh well, this is just a joy pendant anyways, I'm pretty sure, so it's not like I even need it. This next room, that room beyond the door there, that's one of the rooms that I like have memories of. I don't really know why, I think I just like got really unlucky in that room or something when I was a kid. And I just remember it so much more fondly now. It is a cool room, though. <laughs> How many joy pendants do I have? Yeah, I know I said like he needed like 40 joy pendants only, like in some previous episode, but I think you might actually need 60. I'm not sure, because I, I know you need 20. You definitely need 20 for something like story related, and then you need another... I can't remember whether she needs a total of 40, or just um, or like 40 more after that in order to get the thing that you get for that. Yeah, so anyways, we opened this gate, like, forever ago, and then just got sidetracked doing something else. <laughs> it was this big, epic gate, too, so I had no reason to get distracted away from it. God, I love this place. It looks like a cathedral or something. Like, those cathedrals, like that one I saw on my, or that we went into on my trip to Quebec back in 8th grade. That was the best week of my life. I swear to God it was. Even to this day. Well, I don't know, there's some... <laughs> Since I've started LPing, some weeks have been pretty good in comparison, like that one, uh, like the New Year streaming thing. That was pretty cool. Yeah, this can get a little annoying waiting for this water sometimes, but... Okay. And, uh, you don't need to keep both these switches pressed down, you just need to press them down once and then they'll just stay forever. I think these are the two that do that anyways. Yeah, there you go. Alright, I'll in this room. I think I got screwed up in this room as a kid, too. Yeah, I do. Oh, shit. <laughs> Could you have done anything more stupid? Okay, let go of that. Gotta pull it with R. So, obviously, the gimmick of this is that you gotta line up these four boxes so you can jump across to there with a torch. Yeah, so you've gotta line these up just right to account for the distance that Link jumps, which is pretty much always the same. That is not quite that far. There we go. That should be good. Now I just have to line up that one other box, that one right there. Well, I guess this could work, couldn't it? Oh, no. That's too big of a jump right there. 
Yeah, but I was so confused on this as a kid, because, like, I didn't even... I don't know, I didn't think I realized that you could even push the boxes, so I just thought that you had to, like, use them as they were to jump across, which is pretty much impossible the way they they are when you, like, come into the room first thing. Like, can you pull this one back, like, one? Should be good now. Okay. <laughs> I just dropped one stick to pick up the other one, that's funny. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. I guess I need to space these out a little bit more. I underestimated you, Link, on your jump distance, apparently. Yeah, so let's push that out like that, and these can go further apart then, too. That should be good. Even this could go further out, I guess. Whatever. You only get four shots at this with these sticks, so make sure you get it right. I mean, if you don't get it right in four shots, then there might be something seriously wrong with your perception of these jumps. There you go. And don't mess up on the last jump. I've done that, I've done that before. <laughs> Look at Link. He's just like this the angle down on his face. Oh, and then he looks over at it, of course. Yay. Oh my god, did that stick like fly all the way up in the air? How did it fall down like that? That was weird. There's our key, though. What? Oh no, the electric jellies. Yeah, you'll find that's a recurring theme, too, here. Is that when you complete a room... Or, like, even when you go into a room right away, there'll just be electric jellies in your face. It's no fun, man. 